Okay, time to talk to Edna. She's late. I should have gone with her. <laughs> did you hear something just now? I sure did. Smoke! Yep, that sucks. <laughs> hey, this is serious! Not for me. Smoke's only a problem for humans like you. Have fun. What? Edna, this isn't the time for joking around. Let's just stay composed, everyone. Fine. Saray! Are you okay? Rose, don't get close! I'm fine here, just look for some other way! I'm sorry, I really do feel bad about this. I'm fine, I said. Wait. Oh. Okay. You sure are magnanimous. <laughs> Same as he ever was. <sighs> I guess that fixed it. Yeah. You almost look excited. Yeah, I hadn't realized, but it's been a while since I've had this much fun. Good. That is a feeling you should cultivate. It opened! I can sense... a domain? There's a presence of considerable power here. And this much malevolence, it can only be a Hellion. Yeah! Rose? Hurry! I don't know what's going on! No! A dragon newt? Is it dangerous? It's a young type of dragon. So dangerous is what you mean. Stop it! Stop it! Look who's gonna crack. Let's do this! Slash hey, fighting a dragon Elliot, dude. I'm over here. Saray? Shepherd. Move. It's too much to handle. Run. Right. We just need to buy enough time for those two to escape. Move. Oh great. Back. And Mikleo is auto selected again. All right, Mister. What do you got? And of course, you're weak against the one element I don't have yet. Because why not? Of course, you would be. Try this on. Try this on. I'm not sure we have the proper elements to face this one. Do we die here? Let's not die here. I know, but. Oh. No. Rose, what are you doing? I told you to get out of here. I know, I know! But it's all my fault that things ended up like this! I told you to forget about it! <laughs> Ooh, I'm a dragon! <laughs> Saray, see if you can manage without me for a little bit! Huh? Rose! Huh? So you can hear me now. I'm impressed. <laughs> Rose, it's okay to be scared. Just hang in there and listen to me. <sighs> so Ray's like that too. We grew up together, but he still tenses up a little when he sees me. We Seraphim are indeed Saray's friends. And yet, we cannot say for sure if Saray sees and hears the same things we do. Because he's... The only human out of all of you? Yes. Saray has no human compatriots who can truly understand the burden he bears as the shepherd. You want... me... to join him? It's ultimately your call. Hey, what's your name? Nicleo, come here! Coming. Mikleo! Huh? <gasps> <gasps> <Mikleo>. <gasps> 
I can see him, but I... I... I still... Well, this is a fine how-do-you-do if there ever was one. All right, damn it! I'll prove to you I can do this! Saray, Miklio, and... Looks like she's made up her mind. And she did it all herself, too. Thank you. Lila, I'll buy us some time. You get the Squires back going. But Saray, you have to give her a true name first. We'll guess Welk! Huh? That's the true name I'm giving to Rose! Uh... Yeah. Alright! Wilkus Wilk? Blaze the fight! Don't charge in like that! Hold out just a bit longer! I know! Security. I'm just buying What's time! Security, come forth! Oh, it's... oh crap. Um... Burst! Break down! As you Burst! Break down! Break on through! Break on through! Blue flurry! Ocean flesh! Burst! Break down! As you're a star! Blue flash! Burst! Break down! As you're a star! Blue flurry! Ocean Flint! As you're a star! Blue Flurry! Whoa! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flint! Go oh, away, Dragon Man, you're drunk! Go home! Break down! Break down! Break on through! Ocean Flint! Spirit Cleansing Elixir for Death Breakdown! Break on through! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flint! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flint! Azure and Assault! Blue Flurry! Ocean Flint! Too close! Ocean Flint! As you're in assault! Spirit Cleansing! Elixir of Attack! Ocean Flint! As you're in assault! Burst! Burst! Break down! Break on through! Open the floodgates! Bubble arrow! Azure Assault! Blue Flurry! Pierce the skies! Arrow yeah. Fall! Ooh! That was kind of nasty. Spirit cleansing! Elixir for death! Yeah! Ow! Pierce the skies! Arrow squall! <laughs> Open the floodgates! Uh, what's wrong? Tessel is becoming Lila's sublord? What? Ocean Flint! That was fast. No. I feel like I can take on the world. All right, then let's show this dragon oot. I've had enough of this, Shepard. I'm done playing around. Now you're going to bring my armadas to life. Dazzle, why are you? He does have sharp teeth. When this is all over, we're gonna have a talk. <laughs> mm. 
Oh shit. Bro, if a Howdy has scales, does that make it a scalium? Wait, what? You feel it? So ready! Knock it down! Mow him down! You feel it? So ready! Seraph? Oh, it's a puppy. Good work out there. Rose? Rose! Hey, pull yourself together. Did you think it was Rose? It's me. What? Leave her alone, you maniac. You're quite attached to her, I see. What are you after? Oh, nothing really. Just making sure it was clear to everyone why you wanted to become a sublord. Shepard, allow me to explain. I understand, Dezel. Listen. It seems there's some sort of agenda you want to accomplish with the Armatus, Dezel. That's right. And I'm using you to that end. Deal with it. What is it you want, then? Revenge. Against the Hellion who killed my friend. Tarnished the name of the Windriders, branded them as criminals, and forced them to live out the rest of their lives in secrecy as an Assassin's Guild. Oh yeah? Well in that case you're more than welcome. We love quelling Hellions. <laughs> you mean saving them, in other words. Does that sound like revenge to you? You're out to kill them? <laughs> Lila, how could you invite someone like him to be your sublord? Because of how he is. Dezel is consumed with vengeance, and yet he has not become a Hellion. Because he has a vessel that cannot be corrupted. Rose. I get it. So if Rose were to accompany us by herself, then Dezel would lose his pure vessel, and before long, his lust for revenge would turn him into a Hellion. Don't make me laugh. I'd sooner die than become the same corrupted being as the one who wronged me. You folks forced my hand. But something tells me that you're not too bent out of shape over it. <laughs> I won't deny it. It did give me a sense of the true power of the Armatus, after all. I understand your reasons now. But if you're going with us, you can't be acting like a lone wolf. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll work with you. I'm a crummy Seraph, but I'm still a Seraph. I've got no reason to oppose what the Shepherd does. True. Well, I guess that's true. But nevertheless, keep what I told you a secret from Rose. She believes that she's come as far as she has with her own ability, without anyone's help. I don't want her to be troubled by the knowledge of what I've been doing behind her back, or the reasons why I did it. I can hear you, I'm awake! Dazzle. Well, that's that. Now we're all best buds, right? Don't toy with her. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. She just passed out from shock. I think you tossing her on the floor like that is what did it. <sighs> Why don't we plan on resting here for a while until Rose wakes up? It looks like the other Seraph still hasn't regained consciousness. Yeah. 
Can I have Puppy Seraph? Windrush. Press left to cast Windrush and teleport forward. As long as there's ground and land within range, you can use it across ravines or reach areas that might otherwise be inaccessible. By striking an enemy weak against wind, you can begin the battle with an advantage. Alright. Puppy! Let me tell you something. What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. I was able to enact the Armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because dezel has been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. Hmm, sneaky sneaky. I'm guessing that's a cooldown on Windstep. We're becoming quite the family here. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklia. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Uh, what? N no, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh, I kind of like having you and Rose around. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans and Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly! And so that's why... Hey. Know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems. Shepard or no. You know, I'm wondering if he's after the Sephiroth-looking motherfucker. Who did the whole little... Persona gunshot to the head thing. All right. Well, yeah, you get sunglasses because, yeah. Hmm. No. Oh, hell no. Nope. Nah, not really. You just get Slash just gets the sunglasses. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, 
I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a seraph too, after all. I'm just wondering why he has sharp fucking teeth. But anyway. Never mind. Puppy. So you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the shepherd. And of course, my seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Miklio, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is talking! Rose, you're awake. Yep. I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So, shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. We're wasting time. Let's head back. Hmm. Hold up! We haven't found anything yet. And there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep! Keep, Keep going! going. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. <laughs> no vacation from this vacation. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you ready? Thanks, everyone. All right, Oish. We're going to look around in the ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. See you later, mystical doggy. Do you have, like, magic leaves you could give me, maybe, to, like, restore my health and stuff? I think I nearly became a dragon. It's still inconceivable. I think some self-reflection is in order. Okay, with that, see you next time.